Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In 2023, the global chip industry was shrouded in a cold winter. Smartphone sales declined, the PC market was sluggish, and the home appliance industry was not immune. This cold snap quickly swept across the globe, impacting everything from end consumer electronics companies to IC design firms and upstream wafer foundries. News of layoffs and production cuts followed one after another, creating widespread grief. The industry generally believed that, with the exception of TSMC, which boasts the advanced 3 nanometers process technology, other chip manufacturers would face severe challenges. However, amid this bleak landscape, a surprising phenomenon quietly emerged. Chip foundries in mainland China were bucking the trend, experiencing overwhelming orders and overflowing with orders. What's going on? Let's first take a look at the performance of several mainland Chinese chip foundries. First, Chipstar Integrated Circuit, ranked 8th globally and 3rd in mainland China, is expected to see revenue growth of over 15% in the first half of the year, exceeding 5 billion renminbi. Even more impressive was its net profit, which saw a nearly 40% year-on-year increase reaching hundreds of millions of yuan. This is undoubtedly a remarkable achievement against the backdrop of an overall industry downturn. Following closely behind was Hua Hong Semiconductor, the world's sixth largest and mainland China's second largest chip foundry. Its second quarter revenue grew by over 18% year-on-year, reaching $566.1 million. Even more impressive was its capacity utilization rate, a staggering 108.3%. This means the factory is not only operating at full capacity, but is even working overtime to meet order demand. This order surge phenomenon is not an isolated case. Finally, we have to mention SMIC, the leading chip foundry company in mainland China. Although its capacity utilization rate was only 92.5% in the second quarter, SMIC co-CEO Zhao Haijun explicitly stated that this was merely a superficial phenomenon. This is because some of SMIC's production lines are used for testing and verification and are not directly involved in chip production. Excluding these lines, the actual capacity utilization rate far exceeds full capacity. The surge in orders has put SMIC under unprecedented pressure. Why, amidst the global chip industry's general downturn, have mainland China's chip foundries been able to buck the trend and achieve growth? The answer is actually quite simple, China's vast domestic demand market. Compared to other regions globally, the Chinese market is more resilient. While the consumer electronics market has also been impacted to some extent, overall demand remains strong. This is primarily due to the Chinese government's strong support for the semiconductor industry and the continued growth of the domestic consumer market. More importantly, China boasts a vast community of chip design companies. These companies provide a steady stream of orders for chip foundries. From 5G base station construction to the development of artificial intelligence, from the new energy vehicle industry to IoT applications, China's market has enormous demand for chips, providing solid support for chip foundries. It's worth noting that not all chip sectors are experiencing a downturn. Some niche markets, such as automotive electronics, industrial control, and medical devices, 
are still maintaining high growth rates. The stable and sustained demand for chips in these sectors provides a significant growth driver for chip foundries. Furthermore, the Chinese government's active promotion of domestic substitution has also created new opportunities for chip foundries. With supportive national policies and continuous technological advancements, more and more companies are adopting domestically produced chips, further stimulating order growth for chip foundries. A member of the Chinese Academy of Engineering once said that there is a gap, seven times the size of SMICs, between the actual production capacity and actual demand in China's chip industry. This statement is no exaggeration. It reflects, from one perspective, the enormous demand for chips in the Chinese market and the enormous opportunities facing the development of China's chip industry. These seven SMIC gaps are waiting to be filled by Chinese chip foundries. Of course, the rapid development of chip foundries in mainland China also faces numerous challenges. Technical bottlenecks, competition for talent, and international competition are all challenges that need to be overcome. But despite both opportunities and challenges, the future of China's chip industry remains promising. The Chinese government continues to increase investment in the semiconductor industry, continuously improves industrial policies, and actively promotes technological innovation. At the same time, Chinese chip companies are continuously improving their technological capabilities and actively participating in international competition. The countercyclical growth of mainland China's chip foundries has given China's semiconductor industry a shot in the arm. But this is only the first step in a long journey. Can China's chips continue to maintain rapid development in the future and secure a place in the global chip competition? This requires the joint efforts of the Chinese government, businesses, and talent. More importantly, China needs to consider how to further enhance its independent innovation capabilities, how to overcome technological bottlenecks, how to cultivate more high-end talent, and how to better integrate into the global industrial chain. These questions require serious consideration and active exploration of answers. While the global chip industry's downturn continues, mainland China's chip foundries have demonstrated remarkable resilience and vitality. This is not only a milestone in the development of China's chip industry, but also introduces new variables to the global chip industry. Let us wait and see as China's chips shine on the global stage.